Welcome back to the USG Knowledge Hub. My name is John and we are covering the medium pressure uh, metering today. So we start with the medium pressure, we start with the ECV at this point of entry. This is not the same as a low pressure uh, ECV. This one is a dome connection, not a 746 washer type, so you cannot uh, join the two separately. Then we move on to the Anaconda with its uh, directional tape moving into the two-stage regulator. Now the two-stage regulator basically covers the uh, reducing the pressure from above 75 millibar to two bar down to our normal low pressure of less than 75 millibar within the low pressure regulator at the top part of the second stage. Then what we have here is a rearming device or as better known as an UPSO which is an under pressure shut off device. So if the gas was to, to diminish then it became under pressure then this device automatically closes. Then we move on to what we call an MIV which is standard to new installations so old installations will potentially not have this device and if its device is not there then we must report back to the emergency service provider that this needs to be added to the new installation. Okay. Then what we've got is a vent relief pipe so if the regulator fails to, to uh, lock up then the vent pipe will intermittently discharge gas into the open air atmosphere uh, due to uh, maintaining a safe standard to appliances. So now we've covered the individual sections and parts of the installation, we will now start showing you the test procedure. This test procedure will not include the MIV. Okay, so this is a test where the MIV is not in position. So we will not be operating this today. Initially, we make sure the manometer is on zero, so it is zeroed out and it is able to be used and then we connect it to the test point. Then we will move back round to the ECV to instigate some gas into the uh, meter so that we can test the installation. So to begin the testing, we're gonna need to open the rearming device before slowly opening the ECV to set the manometer to a 10 millibar uh, section for the tightness uh, let by. Now that could be anything between seven and 10, Today we're going to set it to 10. So hands on to the arming device, open it, and then raise the pressure to 10. Keeping one hand on the uh, arming device so it stays in an open position, we've closed the ECV. We are now checking for let by of our ECV. We are not carrying out any checks on the regulator at this point. All we are doing is making sure the ECV is operating correctly in the closed position. So we have raised it to 9 millibar on this section and we now wait for one minute to see that it holds the pressure. If it starts to rise then we've got a failure of the ECV then we would have to contact ESP because we're not qualified to start playing with a medium pressure. Uh, ECV at this point. Once the one minute is up we can let the UPSO go to a closed position and we can open the ECV. And on opening the ECV we should see no rise in the manometer. Now that is we're testing that the regulator in its closed position is now not passing any extra gas. With the gas being up to two bar, if this was to weep, then the pressure within the manometer would creep as well. Now, if that regulator did pass, then that would mean the regulator is faulty. If it was uh, under new installation, it will be replaced immediately. In this case, with the ESP being involved, it will be a contact to those to come out and change it. Okay, and then the uh, customer would then would have to wait for that service to occur. So we're going to close the ECV 
at this point and we are going to open or release the pressure from the manometer okay. because if we don't then if we just rearm this then what could happen is the water will surge out of our manometer due to the high pressure that we could potentially be allowing to come straight through to that regulator so all we do now is we again rearm okay if we've released the pressure there may be a slight jump which is the gas that's trapped in between the two and then what we do then is we raise the pressure and we keep raising it until we get to 18 to 19. At this point we will then release the upso because it will stay in an open position all on its own. Okay, It is now above the upso or the under pressure line of 14 millibar. Now what we're going to do now is we're going to monitor this for one minute and for that one minute we're, we're going on stabilisation. So what we're doing here is we're bringing in the gas temperature in line with the installation temperature because this could be in a warmer environment than where the gas has just come from in the ground. So they stabilise for one minute. After the one minute, if it has settled and it is not moving no more, then we can now start literally a two minute test for the installation tightness. Okay, now over that two minute period, we would not expect it to drop, but if it did drop on this type of meter, which is a G4 meter, we will be allowed a four millibar drop because our pipe work is less than 28 millimeters and we have appliances on the installation. If it doesn't move after the two minute period or within the four millibar, then it is deemed to be acceptable as a pass, providing we do not smell gas. After two minutes, if the manometer has not dropped any more than four millibar because of the G4 meter, and that we do not get a smell of gas, then it is deemed to have been a successful test. Today, we've uh, done the medium pressure tightness test installation uh, and we've demonstrated that through this. Um, if you like the film, press the subscribe button for further videos on the USG Knowledge Hub. So my name is John and I look forward to meeting you on further videos.